Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial of IoT irrigation system using NPK sensor, Arduino and Cayenne IoT platform. In this project, we will be monitoring and controlling the irrigation model on Cayenne Midevice IoT dashboard. And the project design can still run on its own automatically. It will send the sensor readings to the dashboard for a remote viewing. The project design would test for when the soil moisture sensor senses a dry soil and a wet soil and it will respond according. Let us get into how this was made. Kindly like, subscribe and share our video to encourage us to keep making such videos. Thank you. We begin with the circuit diagram for this project design. It is built around the Node MCU board. And it is programmed to work in a way to read the NPK sensor, the soil moisture sensor, the DHD22 sensor and the waterproof temperature sensor. It has a relay and a DC pump used to respond to the irrigation process of the soil when needed. And it is powered by a 9 volts or a 12 volts power supply. Let us assemble the components together. We begin by bringing out all the components as shown here. The various components used and needed can be found in the blog post in the description below and the link to buying the components too can be found on our shop page. Next, we start breadboarding the components. This will help us to know how best to calibrate the sensors. The soil moisture sensor was test by connected it to the node MCU and running a snippet code to it. We also run coded and tested the DHT22 sensor before proceeding fully with it. This breadboard stage allowed us to know what to expect from each sensors. With our preformed jumper wires, it was easier to hook up any of the pinouts of the sensors to the Node MCU board and test the code snippet of the sensor. The next thing would be to proceed to fabricating the wooden irrigation box. This box was constructed based on the dimension shown here. And once the wooden framework was done, the next was was to find a means to make it waterproof. To achieve this feat, we used multi-layered polyethylene material to insulate the interior of the container. This will allow it to retain water that is meant for the soil rather than it leaking out, or soaking the wood material and it decaying quickly. irrigation was meant to be an underground, we laid the hose and connected then as we would want it to sprout water once it was connected to the DC pump. Once we were satisfied with the structure of the hose network, we moved to soldering and encasing the components in a project box. The NPK sensor uses the MAX485 module to perform MOBIS communication with the Node MCU board. Hence we had to connect this module for RS485 protocol to be enabled since the NPK sensor can't talk to the Node MCU board directly. The encasing of the soldered board was done using this 3 by 6 inch plastic box. Some opening were cut for where to plug in the power supply and where to program the node MCU.
We connected the DC to DC buck converter so that we can box the voltage down to 5 volts from the 12 volts power supply. Next, we glued this by the side of the casing and connected the out pins of the buck converter to where it will power the soldered board. Connect all the wires according to the schematic diagram and ensure they are firm and tight. We connected the NPK sensor to the header pin or PCB socket pins of the MAX485 module using the screws on board to fasten the wires to make a firm contact with the PCB. D is very important because we do ensure the NPK sensor is powered by a 12 volts and the sensor pinouts are connected to a module capable of RS-485 communication protocol. Then comes the connection of the DHD-22 sensor. Once we connected it to the solder vara board, we ensure it was tight and firm in place. The DHD-22 sensor would be responsible for sensing the atmosphere humidity and temperature. Also connect the waterproof temperature sensor, Dallas D18B20. It will help us read the temperature of the soil. Knowing the temperature of the soil also will allow us to know if the irrigation was performed on the soil when we are in remote location away from for the project. The last sensor we needed to connect was the soil moisture sensor. This is the capacitive soil moisture sensor and it was connected according to the circuit diagram. The actuator 5 volts DC pump was connected after this and it was made sure to work as specified. Neatly place the brain of the project, which is the node MCU on the soldered board once you are done with the connected. Neatly wrap up the project by using cable ties to hold all wires together. Once this was done, we can have a nice encased components connected network in the box. Now, 
we needed to fill the irrigation box with soil, and when the code snippet for the soil moisture sensor was uploaded, we can see that water is released into the soil when the sensor is brought out from being immersed in wet soil. And when placed back into wet soil, the DC pump stops releasing water into the soil. This shows that the code snippet is working very well for underground irrigation. We have to cover the interior box with soil residues and then poured water into the reservoir tank container. The Cayenne IoT dashboard was made to a drag and drop widget that can be easily configured. And it allows Wi Fi boards like the Node MCU to connect to it with the have internet access to its server. We configured our dashboard as shown here, using only the widgets we know that we need. And once we were done, we moved to uploading the program that would populate this dashboard on Cayenne Mid device. The program code was coded in the Arduino IDE. You can grab a copy of the Arduino sketch free by following the blog post link in the description below. The program was made to work as automatically monitoring and controlling the IoT irrigation. If the soiled water level was low, the Cyatom will automatically irrigate the soil. If the user wanted to control this on the dashboard, all he or she needs to do is press a button. We can also see the serial monitor reading showing the soil moisture level of the project. The testing of the project began when it is first connected and everything set up accordingly. On powering up the project, the DC pumps start irrigating the soil but once connected to the Cayenne Mid device it stops because the soil moisture sensor has read and found out that the water level content is sufficient but when it is removed and placed in a dry soil, the pump starts irrigation again. and it stops when it is placed back into the wet soil. We can check the IoT version of it by control the DC pump using the button the Cayenne dashboard and we see how it responds effectively. And we can equally monitor everything about the project from the IoT Cayenne dashboard. And that would be all for the project video tutorial let us know if there in comment or feedback in the comment section below. Kindly like, subscribe and share our video to encourage us to keep making such videos. Thank you.